So there's uh, yeah, that little there's about part. I think there's eight or nine grinders that uh, Hario makes. Mm -hmm. um, these are the three that we're bringing into North America right now, and this is basically one. They have quite a few versions of, of a traditional box style, mm -hmm. um, and this is something that will produce a really good quality grind for someone that wants this look. Mm -hmm. um, How fun can it go fine enough for espresso? It can. Okay. You're going to be blown away. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, you, you're going to sell a ton of these. <laughs> <laughs> um, these are ceramic burrs. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. In a hand grinder. Wow. That's unusual. That you can get for 50 bucks probably. Mm -hmm. It's about the retail. Uh, On the, this grinder? Yeah. And I, I won't, I'll be honest, I'll point out the flaws first. Okay. Because from there, it's just absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. This, ideally, I think should be connected to something on the other end. And what that would do is fix the shaft so you can be, you can grind a more consistent coarse grind. Okay. So the way this works, it's a conical ceramic burr. Mm -hmm. So for espresso, you, you obviously, you want to get away from a blade grinder. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That's your first major step. Mm -hmm. um, but then, you know, when it comes to burrs, you can go all, all across the board. This will make a better grind for espresso than half of the commercial espresso mm -hmm. grinders out there. Not for French press. French press, it's pretty broad. Okay. Uh, the French press, just use the plate grinder. <laughs> uh, you can use this. This will work just as well as a blade grinder for, for French press. It'll work a little bit better than that, but uh, it's, it's got you know some manual, mm -hmm. some, some work involved. Mm -hmm. You have to be a little bit committed to, to see how working for your coffee. Mm -hmm. It's a nice action, though. It's nice and smooth. It feels it like is. a quality piece. You can almost drive a truck over this plastic. It's very high grade. This glass, you should never need it, but it's it's, it's made by Hario, so it's, mm -hmm. it's heat resistant. Mm -hmm. You could put ice in it, drop it in lava, <laughs> it won't crack. So what is this attached to if it's not attached to the shaft? It, it is attached to the shaft, but the shaft is secured and centered more on the top and through the, the, the body. Mm -hmm. uh, but because this is here, mm. uh, there really should be a continuation to kind of hold it on this end. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. What you're I'm kind of dancing sure. around a little bit. Sure. Okay. Because, oscillating. Because mm -hmm. right now, I'll show you if you want to hold this. Yep. This here, this is the other grinder that's really popular, mm -hmm. and uh, they both have their pros and cons. Mm -hmm. This is what I use at home mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. I was using this with my Melita cup at first, and then <laughs> I obviously started using the Hario drippers in mm -hmm. the 60s. Um, but this is all plastic, and so. A lot of people lean towards this just because of the materials. The this is nicer mm -hmm. looking. It's a nicer looking plastic. It's mm -hmm. glass. Um, people like glass. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah, and this is a great rubber. You can put it on the table and hold it down and, and crank right. grind mm -hmm. it around. Um, it's a gripper. Mm -hmm. it's, it really is great, great grip. Uh, this is the same. You can see it's the yep. same ceramic yep. conical mm -hmm. burr. Uh, the differences between these, other than the material of the exterior, this has a smaller volume that it can hold mm -hmm. uh, for the ground coffee, as well as for the, um, the holding. Um, this comes off just like that. That's it. That's a pro and a con. Mm -hmm. and if you're not precise enough, you, you might find that this comes <laughs> off. Um, I've never had a problem with it, yeah. but I have had a few people that work in coffee point that out to me. Mm -hmm. uh, it does have a lid, and this doesn't. Mm -hmm. So. If you're kind of crazy with your cranking, <laughs> you're okay. Nice. okay. So this is another kind of a pro and con with these two. This particular grinder is extremely easy to adjust on the fly. Um, this is very easy, actually, but this is even easier. You adjust this okay. one up here. Uh, with this oh, one, okay. you, you unscrew this, and then this comes off. And this piece here basically locks this in. So right there, uh, I just went yep. from... Uh, and the kind of a, a drip grind to a French press. It changed. So that will dance around a little bit. Very easy. Okay. Yeah. So oh yeah. You, so if you want espresso, these two need to get closer. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and, and, and t turn it the other Let's way. See. The other way. The other fine grind, huh? And that's, that's probably good, right? Oh, there you go. That's that's more than good. So I'll back it up mm. just a okay. tad. Um, and then this piece basically just is there to 
lock it in. Okay. So that that now prevents this from moving. So your Good. grind setting won't change. And then you put the lid on or yeah. the and cap. And then this little piece screws down. So you know it takes a takes a little bit of playing around, mm. but it's pretty easy. How often are you going to change it mm -hmm. though? You know. Yeah, most people aren't jumping back and forth uh -uh. from brew yeah. methods. No. So usually you set it and you probably never mess with it. This here is great for traveling. If you're with a group of people and someone wants to make an AeroPress, someone wants mm -hmm. to make a French press, and someone's got a, a my pressy presso, a little hand. Oh, hand the hand twist, pressle. yeah. Uh, or the twist. The, my press. You, so you can yeah. jump around here, like from French press to espresso, like that. Mm -hmm. And the thread nice. on this is, is really wide. Course, so yeah. it's on. Yeah. 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 And that's like completely. Yeah. Like it, it won't go on anymore. That's yeah. so it's very, very quick to adjust from course to find. Mm -hmm. it does course very well. easy to put coffee in. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, easy to take this out. Easy to uh, to get the coffee out as well. This is intentionally a straight wall on the inside rather mm -hmm. than just being one piece. Um, otherwise you, you would end up having to kind of Stick your finger yeah. or something else to mm -hmm. kind of drag around yep. all the mm -hmm. corners. So it is straight walled in. This is not, but it's bigger. Mm -hmm. than, what is that room price about? I, I think on the site it's 33. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. affordable too. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I mean, typically for espresso, right I'll swap you. You have uh, traditionally, you, you really need to probably spend a couple hundred dollars to get a grinder that's going to do uh, a yeah. decent job for espresso. Still nice and smooth. Mm -hmm.